Today we're at Ellesmere Port Golf Club in England. It's an 18 hole parkland course, municipal course. In this video I'm going to investigate whether the one star reviews left on Google recently are accurate. As uh, we're playing quite a lot of uh, good courses so I thought I'd, I typed into Google what was some of the poorer rated courses and this one came up. It's only £10 to play so I thought I'd show up, play the 18 holes, film it and uh, it would be a, make for an interesting video. So here we are, I've shown some of the reviews here, so there's four one star reviews. There's the 18th green and then just walking up to the first tee. So let's see what we can score on this municipal golf course. Hole one, it's a medium length par four. It's got a ditch running across the fairway around 220 yards. That's why I'm using the hybrid off the tee. Four position. And we're in play, down the left hand side, just short of the ditch. Here's 202, front edge is 187, just hitting the high red to even get it on, roll before the green. Wind's behind actually. So we have a chance to hit the green in regulation, but this hybrid shot was totally messed up. The alignment of my feet oh, it's was right. just looking <laughs> straight right. Yeah, just uh, messed that one up. And there's some evidence of the dog walkers. Uh, pathways run through this course, there's a few dog walkers around. And uh, we're in play by the trees. These are poplar trees, I think. Some of them are shedded, shed uh, leaves. Lucky to find the ball actually there. And a third shot hits the green. It's on the green. <laughs> Listen, these leaves are a nightmare. The first putt of the day is a par putt. It's a 12 footer. Let's see if we can make this one. Miss is short. And we lip out from three foot away and cut a disappointing double bogey on the opening hole. Hole two is the first of the par five to Ellesmere Port. Quite a nice hole this one, dog leg to the left. I'm going to make a great connection with the driver. It goes bounding down the fairway over 250 yards. Happy with that one. It's 219, uh, there's too much danger. I could go for the green, but I'm just going to lay up. Hit the 7 iron, just keep it in play. The tree ahead is in the middle of the fairway, so it kind of blocked the view of the green here. Perfect. And the layup hit the fairway and rolled forward a bit as well. So yeah, this hole's a really nice one. Nice uh, ditch to separate the two sections of the fairway. So we have the short shot with the sand wedge. Goes okay, and we're on the green. It's on the green, <laughs> just about. So it's the first birdie putt of the day coming up. It's a 15 footer. Let's see if we can make this one. It just misses to the right by a hair's breadth. So close on that one. But we tap in for the easy par and stabilise the round. Hole three is a tough par four. Quite tight from the tee box. And I had a bit of a wait here. The guy in front of me managed to hit snap hook his shot to the left. But he ended up finding it and going forward. This is slightly downhill and downwind. And we're in play with a tee shot down the left. That was a good one. So just a 9-9 into the green here. Very happy from the first cut to the left. Happy to have that club in hand. And this shot was hit okay. But I think it got a forward bounce. And just kept it rolling through. It's gone really long that. It's at the back of the green. Back edge I think. So we have a really long putt here, 75 footer from the back fringe. Black putt. Stops 8 foot away, tough to judge those distances. And we managed to hold the 8 footer, really happy with that one. Card the unlikely par on hole 3. 
Uh, this is into a lot of wind, just a little to the left. Pole four is a short par four, dog leg to the right, stroke index six, I was surprised to see. And we're in play with the tee shot up the left. Oh, cheers, man. <laughs> I'll take that one, yeah. Just this hybrid, it works really well for me. And it's 112, front edge is 100. It's into wind, I'm just gonna hit a nine iron, grip down on it. So we have a good chance to hit the green with the short iron in hand. And that's what happens. Yeah. I think it's on the back of the green, that. So we have an outside chance of a birdie, it's a 20 footer, let's see if we can hold this one. This is to the right. And we hold the four footer, it's a card three pars in a row, solid golf. Hole five, so tough par three. This was, I was blinded by the sun from the tee box, going with hybrid off the tee. And we snap hook our tee shot and it clips the tree. I didn't even see where it went at all there. And luckily it's still in play, short left of the green. So around a 50 yard pitch. Let's try and get it on the green. Comes up short. And our green side chip goes okay, all things considered. And we have a five footer to save bogey. Just misses to the right, so close on that one. It's a disappointing double bogey on hole five. Hole six is probably the easiest of all the par threes at Ellesmere Port. Playing short on the yardage card on this day from GPS. That's bounced right in the bunker. And it's a nightmare, we end up in the greenside bunker. So if you follow this channel, you'll know that bunker play, my bunker play is the weakest part of my game, by far. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. <laughs> the goal's a funny old game. We hit a terrible bunker shot, but are saved by the flag stick. Well, it's never, never bo a boring when I'm in the bunkers. <laughs> so we have the unlikely par putt coming up. It's an 18 footer. Stop short, a long way. And we lip out from four foot away. Kind of disappointing double bogey on hole six. Hole seven is the shortest par four Ellesmere Port. Strip index 18, easiest hole on the course. And we hit a nice draw with a hybrid. That finds the first cut to the left. That's a really good hit. That was into wind, that. <laughs> so just a sand wedge in to get another green in regulation, not for the first time today. Yeah. It's on the green, it's right next to the flag on the right. And we're on the green in two. And here's a pond to the right here. This course does have some nice features. Also, there's some mole hills there. There's quite a few mole hills on this course where you get relief from them. So it's another birdie putt coming up. It's the best chance of the day for birdie so far. It's a 10 footer. Let's see if we can make this one. Miss this short right. And we tap in for the easy part after the two double bogeys in a row. Hole 8 to medium length par 4, stringing this two hardest hole on the front nine. And we're in play with a tee shot up the right. Thumbs up. It's 158, 147 to the front edge. Into a lot of wind, just going to hit the 6 iron, a low one. This approach to the green, I'm slightly impeded by the branches on the right. And it's into wind a lot. Uh, bunker. I had some luck there, it ran through the bunker, just about. 
And I thought we were in the bunker, but luckily it just rolled through the bunker. So a bit of stroke of fortune there. Just a green side chip. Goes okay. Just moving the leaves. Quite a few leaves on this day on this course. We have a seven footer for par. Just misses to the right. Perfect pace on that one. And we card a bogey on the stroke of the next two hole, which is still a respectable score. Hole nine to par five, playing slightly shorter on the GPS yardage on this day. And we had a great shot with a driver, goes burning down the fairway, around 240 yards. <laughs> what a connection, what a shot straight down the middle. It's 226, front edge is 210, it's downhill and downwind slightly. Just going to smash the 22 degree hybrid, see if we can get a roll before the green. Get a putt for Eagle, hopefully. <laughs> so it's not often I'm Eagle hunting. Had to wait for the green to clear on this one. And make a great connection with the hybrid. Uh, not too bad, I think it's missed the green short left. It's a close one though. <laughs> Good hit. But it had the distance actually, but just missed the green to the left. Luckily not in this bunker. So we pitch this one over the bunker. Happy with that shot. And it's another birdie putt coming up, so the screen in regulation is a five footer. You can see the, uh, the golf gods are trying to distract me by putting a leaf on my ball. <laughs> Have the five foot to the best chance of the day for a birdie so far. Let's see if we can make this one. And the putt drops, never in doubt. We caught a nice birdie to end the front nine. Happy days. So the front nine score was 42, six over. So a mixed bag, some good, some bad, and some quite ugly actually, which is normal for me. We're playing okay in general, just some of the putts are not dropping, and we're on course to break 85 if we can just keep it going. So let's see what we can score at the back nine at Ellesmere Port Golf Club. Hole 10's a really nice par 4, dog leg to the right. Hitting over a small valley towards the marker post. It's a great shot with a hybrid, finds the fairway over 200 yards. That's perfect, a grip down on that one. And here's a nice feature that you hit over on this hole. Uh, it's not really in play actually, but it just makes the tee shot even tighter. But anyway, we find the fairway and it's downhill and downwind slightly, so go with the nine iron. Tried to get it on in two, but unfortunately this nine iron was pushed out to the right and missed the green short. Third shot is a green side chip. It goes okay, but it's actually slightly duffed. I got away with that one. <laughs> and you get enough bad breaks in golf, so we'll definitely take the good breaks when we when they come our way. So it's a five footer for par now. And the putt drops, and we start the back nine with a solid par. And just looking here, this is the a step in the green, and uh, yeah, it's just bare patches. So it's uh, the greens, they were recovering I think, but this was after an extended period of dry weather. So now quite a long walk to the next tee, the 11th hole. There were a few walks in between some of the holes, and on the front nine, I think after the 4th hole, to walk to the 5th is a bit tricky. If you've never played the course before, so hole 11 to par 5, with out of bounds all down the right, and we're in play at the left. Straight down the left, but it's okay, I think. Second shot's a layup, miles back here. It's slightly uphill this hole. We sling one out to the right and it draws back nicely. And strolling up this fairway yeah, it was really nice in the sun. Wasn't expecting this for £10 a round. Nice open fairway here. And uh, yeah, I was enjoying the round so far better than I expected at this point. So just a sand wedge in here to try and get the green in regulation. 
and birdie putt. Unfortunately, we missed the green left. Didn't hit that one online at all. Green side chip. It's not too bad. Ends up five foot away. The the burnt out patches, the brown patches, the ball kind of skids on them a lot more. And then it grips when it hits the the grass like you saw there. So we missed the five footer, but hold the three footer coming back and card a bogey with no drama on hole eleven. GPS says one six nine one five five to the front edge. Slightly downhill, slightly downwind. So I'm just gonna gonna smash the six iron and just get a short miss is fine here. Try and get it online. Hole 12, so medium length par 3, going with 6 iron. Trying to just turn it over, draw it towards the green. Unfortunately, missed the green right, short right. I didn't turn it over at all, just pushed out to the right. <laughs> and spot the ball here. Leaf trouble again. Uh, luckily, I found the ball. Uh, where you're playing when there's a lot of leaves, you have to really focus on what the landing spot of your ball. And luckily, we found it, so it's around a 40 yard pitch to the hole. It goes really well, thumbs up. <laughs> really good. Take that. We have a 7 footer to save par. Let's see if we can hold this one. And the putt drops, really happy with that one, guarding our second par of the back nine already. Never in doubt. <laughs> this is into wind a lot. Hole 13, so short par 4, dog leg to the right. Stroke index 17, easiest hole on the back 9. And our tee shot finds the fairway. That's absolutely perfect, down the right. So we're in prime position again, just a sandwich into the green. Let's see if we can get this one close and get a birdie putt. And the sandwich is hit right on line, but it just takes a hard bounce forward. It's back edge. Got a bit far that one. Third shot is a lag putt from off the green for a birdie. It nearly drops, just misses to the right. Uh, two and a half foot. <laughs> Thought I was going in there. Haven't held a long putt in ages on these rounds, it seems. We tap in for another easy par and move on. Hole 14 is so a medium length par 3. I think this one was a slight breeze into me, that's why I'm using a 5 iron. And we get the green in regulation, the tee shot finds the right side of the green. And this, this green was not looking too good actually, quite a few burnt, burnt out patches on it. Anyway we have a 40 foot lag putt for a birdie. Misses to the right, you can see the ball stops as soon as it hits the uh, green part of the green again. And we tap in another nice short putt, three and a half footer, for our third par in a row. Good scoring despite the lack of birdie chances. The last four holes at Ellesmere Port are, no, are well known as some of the better holes on the course. Hole 15 to dog leg to the left and we're in play in the first cut to the right. It's a bit right but it's in play. It's one six seven. Just gonna hit the 26 degree hybrid, smooth one, get it online. Get a putt for birdie. This approach to this green is totally enclosed, different feel from the rest of the course, this one. Really nice hole, very tight as well, you can't miss left or right by a long way, otherwise you, your ball's lost. That was a terrible hit. And we hit a terrible shot with a hybrid, a very tired swing that one. I missed the green short right. And the green side pitch here is totally bladed. Uh, not good news, but luckily the green, the green had a lot of grass on it, so it grabbed. And we have the par putt that we wanted. 
It's a 28 footer and we nearly got out of jail with another par. Would have been four pars in a row. We tap in for the bogey, which actually could have been worse. Hit two really bad shots in that hole. Hole 16 is a tough par four. Dog leg to the right. Struggling at its one hardest hole on the course. And we hit a terrible tee shot. Just totally out of the right. Right in the thick stuff, a lost ball, one shot penalty. So three off the tee. This time it's hit up the left. But luckily we're just about in play under the trees. It's two on seven. I'm blocked out with the swing, so I'm just gonna hit a, a choke down and hit the hybrid. Just like 140 yards down the fairway, hopefully. Second shot is just a hit and hope shot, just laying up as far as I could to try and get it to roll down the fairway. <laughs> That's perfect. Now the second shot goes much better than intended, well the fourth shot goes much better than intended. Leaves us with a sandwich onto the green. Happy with that one. It goes okay. A few burnt out patches on this green as well. But we have a 10 footer slightly uphill to save double bogey. And the butt misses to the right. Could be more aggressive with that one as it was uphill. But it never threatened the hole, wasn't online. And we tap in and card a disappointing triple bogey on hole 60. And apologies, I was feeling tired. I, I messed up the recording of the tee shot on hole 17. It's a medium length par 3. Then when I hit the tee shot really heavy out to the left, lost a lot of distance. And the greenside pitch, we got it on the green, and we have a 45 foot lag foot for a par. And thumbs up there with that one. Ball ends up three foot away. I take that all day long. And the card of bogey on hole 17 and move on to the final hole. Well, it looks pretty tight up there, so I'm just going to hit the hybrid. Hole 18, so par 5, hitting back to the clubhouse area. It's playing a bit short on the GPS yardage and it's quite tight. Right, but it's in play, I think. And the tee shot was okay, but the second shot here, layup, is just kind of a scuff shot. <laughs> Didn't hardly get off the ground, but it skipped over a, like a ditch, so got really lucky there. It's 119 uphill, into wind. I'm just gonna hit the seven iron because I'm so tired. Nothing's good anywhere now. And I was feeling really tired. I actually was looking for the ball on the left. I thought it was in the leaves, but the ball skipped forward, so 7 9 yeah, into the green. That. It's hit right on line, and the ball is right next to the hole. And I actually thought at the time it was a par putt. Yeah, a I was so tired, I thought it was actually a par putt. So it's a four footer now for Birdie, the best chance of the day. Slides by to the left. Quite a weak effort, that one. And we tap in for the easy par on the final hole for a score of 83, so 12 over. So we've done it, we've broken the equivalent of 85, which is 12 over on this course, which was the aim at the start of the day. I'm really happy with that. Really pleased with my game in general. Started poorly with the double bogey, but then just started making pars and one birdie, nine pars and six green in regulations. It's really good for me, above average for my my normal rounds. There was some really sloppy golf in there as well in some parts. My putting was terrible on the front nine especially and I made a schoolboy area. I didn't go to the practice putting green beforehand and it definitely showed. I didn't have the pace of the greens at the start. I thought the course was really playable. It's nice to have four par fives and some of the holes were really nice, very distinctive and uh, better than I expected. Overall, I enjoyed the day, enjoyed the round, and I thought £10 was definitely good value. I understand the one-star reviews, where they're coming from. No one wants dog walkers on a course, or some patchy greens in poor condition. 
For the greens on this day, they weren't as bad as I expected them. I thought they were going to be all completely burnt out. And the dog walkers, I teed up a half two. There were a few around, so I was aware of them, but I wasn't put up on any shots. But maybe if you play at a later time to be more dog walkers or an earlier time, not sure to be honest. But I enjoyed the round, I enjoyed the day in general, and I agree with this reviewer, and I'd probably give the course uh, 3 or 4 stars for the price paid. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, I enjoyed playing and making it, and see you on the next one. Signing off.